what have I done? Okay, another day, another set of challenges. Today, what I've got to do is I've got to put, get some wood in the ceiling and in the sides here so I can put the tongue and groove on like my old LDB convoy. So what I've, what I've chose to do is I've got these um, battens, roofing battens, and these are like, I think I use these to do loads of framework in pretty much all my vans. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on here, spaced out maybe every every three foot maybe. Put them along there like that. I'm going to draw draw them all the way along, and then I'm going to cut into the insulation with this. Cut a little wedge in the insulation, and then the same along the ceiling. And the ceiling one will brace against the side ones and keep them in place. And then when the tongue and groove goes up onto this from here to, here to there it will hold them all in so everything should be nice and secure hopefully but yeah this is probably the most fiddly job I've got to do on this rebuild um, I'm hoping it goes smoothly fingers crossed button pen Okay, so all the gaps are all cut out. I've pulled the wiring through from the solar panels as well because the batteries are going to the back now and getting more weight over the back wheels to generate more power to go through to the ground. But um, yeah, all the, all the slats are cut in and I've also cut this batten here. Um, I've had to cut it at an angle either side so it's thick in the middle and tapers out to the ends. Um, that's to, to compensate for the the curvature of the ceiling so the wood doesn't stick down so now I've just got to cut enough of those to go into the top and then battens to go into the sides hopefully I've got enough wood to do the whole job but um, yeah this job is so far it's not too bad it's going quite quickly so let's hope the pace keeps going this way here are my five roof battens all cut out of old wood that I stripped out of the van um, bits of part, this used to be part of the slide out bed and um, this was a buzzy 3b2 that I've had to slim down to the rest of them which was a nightmare to cut it lengthways and then cut the curvature to it but that's those, one, two, three, four, five, six. yeah so now I've got to cut the little edge I've got to put, cut the pieces that are going to go in here now to support them um, I'm going to screw them down, I'm going to screw them in from the tops of these and then slot them in place and they should be supported either and then which which should be enough support for when the cladding is on here you okay so all the buttons are in I had to use a few wedges because some of them were measured a bit wrong but all the buttons are in so I think I've got time now it's five to three I've got time now to at least to put a couple of strips of cladding on the ceiling I've got to start off in the middle make sure I'm dead center and then I can go Equally, either way, it'll be nice and spaced out. So here we go. Yes, look at that. So one, two, three, four pieces. And they literally went up in like 10 minutes. So, so easy to put in with the bits of wood to screw into. In the LDB convoy, I was just drilling straight into the metal. And it took, it'd take me like 10 minutes to put on one piece of cladding. So with the wooden framework in the van, it's just flying up. Anyone doing a van build and wanting to put cladding in, do a wooden frame first because it makes life so, so much easier. And I am buzzing off this. I've decided to go right up to the edge 
of the frame here, see where it's a bit grubby and stuff. So I'm gonna hide it with the wood and maybe put like a little wooden edge there as well, just to make it look way nicer. So I've just got a cut, um, I've got to cut a hole in the this end here for the air vent, and these next two pieces can go on, and it's it should all fly up today. The ceiling should just fly up. Okay, so there we go. That's the hole cut in for there. I'm just going to put the hole that's for that on that side. I'm going to do the same for this side. But once those two bits are in, the whole ceiling's going to be just flying up. Update Hold cut We've gone a little bit wider Full framed around the light and also a whole cut for that vent as well. So it's come together now. I'm just going to go all the way to the edge of this side here, then I'm going to go all the way to the edge of this side here and cut nice and snugly around the blue. Probably leave a little gap for about maybe so for the heat, and then there's going to be like a snug um, aluminium thing around that so the top of the pipe doesn't wobble. <laughs> So just past halfway done and it is looking good. So nice. Just remember that I've got some old corner trim from the kitchen ca cabinets, which I'm gonna uh, repurpose to edge that, which will look really, really nice. So I'm gonna get that out once I've finished this side. Yes. Take a look at that. That is so good. I am chuffed. A little hole around there, nice and neat. A little hole around there, nice and neat. The other one down there it is pretty much dead on equal. I think I've smashed it, measuring it into the middle this time. It is looking good. So, what I've got to do to finish it off is put the trim around that, put the aluminium bit around that to keep it nice and secure. But next, what I'm going to do is build the bed frame. What I was originally going to do on this rebuild was take these panels off and cut big holes in them and just leave strips for the for the cladding to attach them. I was going to clad the whole lot floor to ceiling but what I've decided to do is build all the furniture and just clad the areas that you can see which is going to hopefully save enough save weight and is definitely going to save money okay so here is all the space cleared for the bed we'll move that rubbish out the way so the bed has gone all the way to here Full size bed, no more folding in, folding out, climbing up, just a proper, comfy, good old fashioned bed. Six foot long, four foot wide. I've built half of the frame already. So, this is half of the bed frame, so it's legs on one side, and this side's gonna screw to the wall. So, let's lift it in, get it screwed in position, and see how it looks like. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got Oscar's bed, which is up the top. His is gonna be walled in. He's gonna have a full wall across the back doors there with a little square cut in it, and another full wall here with a little archway there for him to climb into. So, and our bed is gonna be 
is that's the width four foot and the length we've got to add another two foot section onto it but the two foot section we're going to add on is going to have a little lid so and this is going to be a separate area from that back storage bit which is which is going to be you know for bits and bobs in this but we can put clothes and bags and stuff or whatever um but yeah that's it so far i mean just quickly throwing it together Whew, 25 to 3 i've got to nearly got to go and pick our scrub in a sec yeah making quick progress what we want to do okay so that is it for today um the very basic frame for the bed is in i've just got to put some supports down the middles and then i can um organize the underneath part so like ply off the front and maybe do put a divide a couple of divides in this section that open back section there underneath is going to be open completely open um, but this section I'm going to put dividers in, but then after that I can put slats on um, and then I've got to build up this section here and we'll have like steps and then a box section so which is like a platform to lead to Oscar's bed which uh, my BMX and his BMX will still fit underneath just about big enough um, and then I think underneath there is going to be batteries but anyway this is the bed so this is the hinge part see that is still going to be the storage underneath there um, yeah, that's it for today. Four foot by six foot, nice full length bed. For for a long time, I was really bothered about having a lot of floor space in a van, but I realised after using one for quite a while, like staying in, or living in one, um, spending extended amounts of periods of time in one, that it's not about the inside of the van. It's like it's about where you're going and where your van's taking you. So like the van, all you need the van for is a comfortable place to sleep and a comfortable and somewhere to cook and eat and so floor space isn't that important but a comfy bed is so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video next one i shall be finishing off the bed and doing the box section and god knows what else loads of stuff busy 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 but anyway yeah thanks for watching if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please do and i will see you next time cheers